While India might be obsessed with the game of cricket of late, here are five unknown facts that might make you rethink your views on sports in India. Though many know that India won its first and only individual gold medal back in 2008, many might have forgotten that it was India's field hockey team which won India its very first Olympic gold medal back in 1928. India defeated the host country Holland in the finals to win the gold and it was legendary hockey player Dhyan Chand who had scored the two of the three goals in the finals. India's controversial Indian Premier League, that is IPL, is the second richest sporting league in the world. The only sporting league to have surpassed IPL is US's world-famous National Basketball Association, that is NBA. Though the game was initially known as Battle Door and Shuttlecock, which were played in ancient Greece over 2000 years ago, badminton is a well-known modern descendant of the game and has been played in India since the medieval era. Badminton has its roots well laid in India with the British Army officers giving it its present form. The modern version of the game was first played by British officers back in the 19th century. It is said that the officers posted in the city of Pune, formerly known as Pune, played the game very competitively among themselves and thus making the game more popular within the country and giving the game a popular name Pune at that time. Many have criticized that cricket has killed Indian national sport, hockey. You'll be surprised to know that according to the government of India, India doesn't really have a national sport. The news came out in open when the government in 2012 replied to an RTI stating, hockey is not the official game or sport of India. In fact, India has no game or sport which can be called national sport. The Indian football team had qualified by default for the 1950 FIFA World Cup Finals, but due to high cost of travel by the governing body All India Football Federation, that is AIFF, had decided against going to the World Cup. AIFF at that time was unable to understand the importance of the world event and thus, despite having the qualification and FIFA offering to pay the majority of the travel cost, had decided not to go for the tournament. They must be regretting the decision now, looking at the fact that India, who since 1994 has been regularly participating in the World Cup qualifiers but have never made it past the first round. 